After months of intense and emotional debate, it is now official. The city council has approved funding to expand the shot spotter system. Glad you're with us tonight at 5. The gunshot detection system will now expand to neighborhoods across the city. That's right. So here are some of the broad strokes. Council approved the funding by a vote of 5 to 4. The $7 million contract will be paid with money from the police budget, not COVID relief money. That comes as people say there are privacy concerns with the listening devices. Sean Light is live on this story for us tonight. Sean, uh, the debate over this really dragged on for, for hours today, Sean. Truly did. We were there for all of it. Now we're here on Detroit's west side, really to make this point that the bottom line is shot spotter is likely coming to your neighborhood if you're in the city. Now expanded to 10 different neighborhoods. You mentioned the vote razor thin five to four and then five hours of debate. The shot spotter sensors pick up the exact location of gunfire. The shot spotter debate again is picking up steam outside of City Hall, a protest against surveillance is not safety. We have drones in this city. We have surveillance helicopters in this city. We have Project Greenlight in this city. Inside City Hall, Tamara Smith telling council why she is for Shot Spotter. Shot Spotter is very valuable in our city because it saves lives. Smith lives on Detroit's west side. She has six kids. She feels so strongly about adding Shot Spotter to neighborhoods. Today, she drove downtown to tell council. And the safety in my community is what's extremely important to me. Living in an area where you can wake up and feel safe and know that you won't walk out of the door and a possibility be shot and know that if a shot does go off that you will have offers to show up because they exactly know where it's detected is extremely important to me. City Council changing the shot spotter three year contract to not use $7 million in federal funds. Many argue to use that money for other city issues. Now the city would pay for shot spotter from the general fund. Finally, a vote five to four shot spotter approved. I hope that the energy continues um, because we have a lot of work to do around gun violence in Detroit. It does not stop with shot spotter. So a lot of pressure on city council here and what they did was what you had mentioned transfer uh, the payment here to the police budget. They want this, so it's going to come out of their budget. They'll have to make room for that. Same time, it's called American Rescue Act federal funds that came to Detroit. Seven million dollars left there. People who did not want shot spotter now would like to see that money used in other ways, particularly in mental health. Bottom line, it's coming. We just asked police, when is it going to be in those 10 neighborhoods? They say by July 4th. Back to you. Sean, tell us one more thing. So the chief uh, was asked what he would do if this didn't reduce shootings in the city. What do you have to say about that? It was a direct question. He had a direct answer. He says it's working now in two precincts. The numbers back it up. He says if the numbers don't back it up after this contract, the contract is three years. He says he knows council will not renew the contract. Mm -hmm. We'll be watching it. Okay, Sean, thanks.